Hey, so the video that you are about to see is a series of clips documenting my 2000 round challenge of my Beretta APX. Now, a few things to note, these were all shot on the same day. This is not an entertainment video because it's boring as all get out. So uh, stop now if you're looking for something fun. This was literally just a set of videos that I don't have the time to edit put together in order to document every round fired during the 2000 round challenge that I was conducting. And because I wanted to do this in a single day <clears throat> and all that stuff, you know, this was um, a bit of an undertaking. And so I, the video is just there to document the state of each, each round. Uh, I've written up the results of the, the challenge elsewhere and you can look at the description to see that um, I didn't include an un unbroken version because it took nearly eight hours to do the shooting uh, because I was at the range with other people things like that and so what I would do is I'd shoot 50 rounds take it back load up three mags with another 50 rounds shoot an additional 50 rounds and so on and I would give the gun a break if I felt like it was getting a little too hot so um, anytime that the gun started uh, significantly steaming or anything like that where it was really really hot since I was not trying to do a torture chest I was just trying to shoot 2,000 rounds through the gun without cleaning it now that's what you're seeing here I didn't feel the need to document in video every single time I loaded every single magazine and so forth so I'm just including the rounds fired um, the ammo shot was Fiocchi 115 grain 9 millimeter. The lubricant that I was using was the Rogers Premium Lubricant from the Rogers Advanced Gun Cleaning Solution. I It was freshly lubed. It was a clean gun that had been, just been freshly lubed according to Beretta's manual and instructions. The odd or out of character behaviors in the gun were essentially two auto forwarding of the slides when I did a slide lock reload. So that happened twice in the course of the challenge. Otherwise, there were no stoppages, nothing to remark on. Additionally, I did a 10 round precision group from arrest before and after the challenge to test what the clean gun shot and then what the gun shot after the 2000 rounds when it was dirty to see if there was any degradation in the accuracy. I shot that not with the 115 grain Fiocchi, but the uh, my hand loads, which are a 115 grain Hornady HAP on 6.3 uh, grains of power pistol with CCI primers and mixed brass. So that gives you an idea of what I was shooting for accuracy. I was shooting at an 8 inch um, black bullseye on white paper from 25 yards for the accuracy tests. Those accuracy tests are not included in this video, but they can be find out, found elsewhere. See the description. Um, I did just recently get back from that challenge, so I'm a little tired, but <coughs> I think that's everything you'll need to know here. I shot both paper and steel. You'll see that I switch over to steel a little bit later in the video um, because I was trying to speed up the shooting and shooting the paper took a little too long um, so I decided to switch over to start shooting steel um, let's see I was shooting from about seven yards at the targets in case you're wondering and uh, overall the gun worked flawlessly in my opinion um, the two auto forwardings that is um, you know up to up to debate I also saw a uh, shot this entire sequence strong hand only so I all of the rounds fired here were with one hand except for 50 of them which were shot by a friend and he shot a couple a few of them with a two-handed grip and then he switched over to a strong-handed grip as well to try it out and then I think that's everything you need to know um, be prepared to be extremely bored, but this is the documentation of that. Um, I also noticed that the brass was remarkably clean. I don't know if it'll show up in the video, but I noticed that the uh, 
there were copper flecks or gilding particulates being sprayed out of the action and out of the barrel during firing, which I suspect is shavings or mist from the bullet that was going out. Um, the brass looks spectacularly clean. I'm actually very surprised about that. One of the things I was checking was for um, bulging smileys dirt, uh, just to see how tight of a chamber it was, to see how clean the gun shot, etc. I was really surprised at the cleanliness of the Fiocchi ammo. The, um, the cases, when I got them out, show no pressure signs or anything that would indicate an unsupported chamber, too unsupported of a chamber on the APX. Uh, the, the brass practically looks like it came out of a tumbler uh, when, I, when I took it out. It was there, normally on a lot of rounds when I fire them, I see um, carbon streaking or, or powder residue on the outside of the brass. There was none of that in this. When I shot the Fiocchi ammo, the brass was extremely clean afterwards with very little signs of powder residue around the the outside of the case. So um, you can see for yourself the ejection patterns. The slide did not show any signs of hesitation or sluggish, sluggishness by the time the end of the challenge came around and the lubrication had not burned off at that point. So I wasn't trying to burn the gun down or melt it or anything like that, but the gun did remain fairly hot throughout the test and most of the time was too hot to touch comfortably at the front slide or on the takedown lever button or on the lever side of that, that control. The slide release continued to be usable and not too hot and the rest of the gun remained fine to hold including the rear of the slide. But the front of the slide was always too hot to hold and the um, takedown lever remained too hot to touch most of the time. The lubricant on the gun continued to remain on the gun. It did not burn off, so I'm. it also apparently kept the gun quite, quite slick. Uh, I was using lubrication according to the Beretta manual, which includes a um, lubricating the barrel with a small bit of oil, uh, slide rails, and the recoil spring, but nothing else. So no other parts of the gun were lubricated. The um, the result I thought was pretty pretty satisfactory to me. The slide at the end was, had no issues with going into battery. There was never once in which the the slide even began to feel like it was getting a little too hickety. So I'm quite pleased with how smooth the gun remained and uh, how responsive the gun remained throughout the, the whole test. I did find that my index finger received a very tiny blister on it because I was gripping fairly low on the trigger and in my follow through I would have a tendency to pinch the bottom of the trigger ever so or pinch my finger in the bottom of the trigger ever so slightly. However, I experienced no other forms of discomfort during shooting. The gun was easy to hold, easy to control, um, and I was relatively unfatigued by the end of the shooting. So I had I my trigger finger continued to work normally, and I had I, I wasn't you know getting the shakes or anything like that, and my muscles were not <coughs> overly fatigued, um, but I was a little worn down, as you can see, from just being out in the sun all day long uh, shooting this stuff with relatively little or small amounts of food to eat. So the um, temperatures ranged from about maybe 70 to 85, give or take, throughout the day. And there was relatively little wind, no clouds, bright sunny sky. Um, and the last 10 round group was shot with ammo that had been sitting out in the sun for a while. So that's just another thing to know. All right, I'm gonna stop talking and you can get to the clip. Uh, are we good? You're recording. All right, let's try this. Let's see if this works. Bring it 
shot closer. We can stop it. Go. Recording. We good? Good. Oxbow, uh, silver, silver buckle. Hmm. Seems very much like wearing a bracelet. Alright. Yeah, this watch impedes certain kinds of exercise.
You're good. Got one more? No, we're good. Clear. Pause for a second. This again.
recording. So you're telling me you believe in unit testing that integration? Whiteboard dynamics, we are production. <laughs>
Go. Back a little bit. Yep. Right here, good. Yeah, that's probably good. Uh, yep, yeah, that looks about right. Clear. Oh. Go. You good? Yep.
begin. Go.
Good. Go.